Hey everyone, how's it going? I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you happen to be because I'm certainly excited to be back playing some more Summer Camp Architect. A joke which is just getting thinner and thinner and more useless and more useless every single episode because I keep forgetting to refer to people as campers and counselors, but that's besides the point. Today, 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 there have been a couple of very, very small changes. Nothing major at all. The first of which is this canteen down here is not a staff canteen because, as it turns out, there are no campers that can actually get access to this place. I'm not entirely sure why. It's not like this entire thing has been reserved for staff only. I think it's just because it's so far away that it's essentially not considered a, a canteen for... Uh, for the, what do you call it, for the, 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 what do you, the, these guys, right, for the, the campers, that's the word I'm looking for, campers, we're, uh, 90 seconds into this video, and I forgot the word camper, that's good, uh, but yeah, that's essentially my thinking on this, this canteen here services all of these guys perfectly well, so I'm not really too stressed about it, I think if that's where the counselors and the guards and all that stuff are gonna go, then so be it, they can have an area down there, and I'm just not really, uh, not really too worried about it. Now, something I do want to do today is I want to go in, and I want to get more cabins, more dormitories, more whatever they're called, and I'm thinking that they're gonna just be here. I'm just gonna make sort of a block of, uh, oh wow, what happened there? What, what happened to you? You got, uh, Unknown reputation, you're unconscious, I guess we're never gonna know. You did it! Oh, you attacked staff. Fair enough, that'll do it. What is going on here? Hey, hey, hey! Stop beating up that bed! That bed did nothing to you! That bed did nothing to you! You stop that. Anyway, like I said, I'm thinking I want to go ahead and I want to put in another set of uh, cabins. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, these are 8x8, eight eight, if I remember right, so we're going to want to go across here and down by 7. And then we're going to want to go 8 right there. And we're going to we're gonna want to go here, go across, and go 8 by, or 64 by 8 right there. Oh, no, 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 not that. Not that at all. Uh, let's try that again. The game kind of auto-saved a little bit and went weird for me. But that's about the size we're looking for there. I'm going to need to put that grass all back in as well. So let's just do that real quick. And then we're going to have to go in and put in things like the uh, the paving stones right down the middle. Wait, really? What? What, ha what happened? What? Oh, you had too much fun. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll definitely do that. Uh, so I want my paving stones down the middle. I'm going to want to get my... Hedges in here, and we're gonna want to just get those the whole way across as well. And while we do this, I guess now is probably a good time to talk about some of my ideas for the future of uh, of the camp, basically. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't really have any grand ideas. I'm thinking that we might want to look into what is going on down here. Hello? Oh wow, there's okay. Um. No, we we actually have a lot of we have a lot of we have a lot of guards down here. I think we're gonna be all right. This uh, this seems like it's yeah, that seems like it's under control. They all took their shirts off to fight. That's how you know they're serious as well. That is that is always the thing, isn't it? That's like a very guy thing to take like take your shirt off to show that you're serious and that you're gonna fight someone. It's like put your shirt back on. Stop embarrassing yourself. I I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I feel like that's just a very guy thing to do. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the plans for the camp and everything I want to do with it. Well, first off, I want to get some kind of protective camp in here. You know what, I'm just going to call it as it is. Protective custody. I want to get that in here because we do have a lot of people that don't really get on with everybody else. And it is causing some problems. So, I feel like getting protective custody is going to be a pretty good way to stop causing those problems and to stop having people uh, <laughs> sent home early for being snitches. I don't know. It's really hard to walk this line with the uh, 
It's really hard to walk the line with the with the camp at this point when you're talking about protective custody. I'll be totally honest. It's it's tricky. But uh yeah, that's that's definitely something I want to get in here. I think it's needed. I think it's going to go a long way towards um you know, st stopping people from from getting, you know, shanked basically. <laughs> that's kind of my goal. Uh, I'm thinking that could also go over here. We could probably buy a new area and build it all over there. So across the road, in its own facility, all that good stuff. I think that's 110% what we should do with uh, with all of that stuff. I think that's going to be the way to do it. So that's probably what we're going to do. And that is probably going to be the, the best way to do it. So expect that to be done at some point in the near future. I'm not exactly sure when that'll be, but... Uh, that's definitely one thing I want to do. Um, I also want to just generally build everything. So I want to build the store at some point because I know that's something that I've been talking about for a while. I think that would be kind of cool to have in here. So we'll get the store at some stage. We can also, like I said, get protective custody. And there are some other more permanent uh, options, I guess. <laughs> I'm really struggling to walk the line between this being a summer camp and a, uh, well, a prison. And, you know, now that I think about it, there's just, there's so much wrong. There's so much, like, when you, when you start, look, okay, you know what, we're going to break the facade here. It's, I, in case anyone was, was still being fooled, right? I'm going to drop some truth on you here. This isn't a summer camp. It is a prison. I'm sorry. All right. I am sorry to have misled you. I know it was wrong. Uh, it was wrong of me to mislead you and make you believe that this was a prison, a uh, summer camp, uh, but it is in fact a prison. I'm sorry. The The tricky thing is that um, when you start getting into, and this is this kind of happened in the the last episode as well. When you start when you go into the, 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 the summer camp theme through, uh, by, by me, I guess by means of building a, a prison, it gets really dark. Like it gets really dark. And, um, I'm trying to be really delicate in, in, in this particular topic, but I guess what I'm saying is I really don't want to build death row because of the whole summer camp joke because i feel really friggin' awkward man <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's really really bad um so yeah that's it's basically this whole series started as a joke that never should have happened because this whole series has turned into one massive yikes if that makes sense if you uh if you get me all right so that's why that's why I really don't think I'm going to put Death Row in here. Because I, uh, I really don't think, I really don't think that's a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and prioritize all the work that needs done in there. I want to get all of the utilities into, into that space so that we can get this all up and running. We do have room for 216 campers. We have 77 of them arriving tomorrow, which is, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about. That's probably going to be hell for my staff, which is going to be a beautiful thing. Uh, we're also probably going to want to get some patrols going. So let's go ahead and see if we can manage that. I'm also going to just say that it's going to be a, uh, a single line there because I've had a couple of people on Reddit saying that I shouldn't double up my uh, patrol routes. I should just do single lines because it's going to be a little bit more efficient. So that is uh, that is something I'm going to try and do. And that's something we're gonna try and uh, and maintain. So we'll just throw all of these in, and we'll do one, two, oh, no, nope, two, three, four, five guards there. And I think we have some armed guards available, so we'll put two armed guards on that as well. Then the dog patrol is gonna come out of there, and is basically going to loop around like uh, like this. I'm thinking. Uh, so it can go to about there. We'll take that bit out. And that should be pretty good, I reckon. That should do the job to sort of cover that entire space. Um, so yeah, we just have like generic patrols all the time done there. And that'll be 
something, I guess. What is going on here? Is there, is there, a, where, there was a fight somewhere. I'm tired of these fights, man. It's constant. It really is constant. Now, let me see. You guys have, well, you guys need that pipe in there. The pipes are so weird. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. It seems completely random to me whether or not they, they do or do not work. Like, every time, it just seems completely random. Although, all of the toilets and showers do not have water, so that's nice. So, this is technically all functional, although it doesn't have uh, power. Why doesn't it have power? What's going on with that? That's why it doesn't have power. Uh, do we have enough power to... Well, uh, we do not have enough power to power all of this. Hold, <laughs> hold on a second. Dismantle that immediately. Because this entire space does not have, like, we do not have enough power to uh, to run all of that. So, what we're going to do is be a little bit cheeky. And we're going to run a cable up like this. And that is going to, uh, to power all of that space. So, let's go ahead and prioritize that build because that's actually going to be really important to do. And then that will power this entire new block of... Um, cabins the block of cabins that's yeah that's what it is we'll just have that power all of it and that should be pretty good for us i do also want to come down here and tear out a bunch of trees because as per usual we're going to be needing money especially if we're doing the protective thing so we'll tear out all of those and just kind of let the workers do it whenever they feel like it we do have 200 of them so it's not like it's not like it's going to take a super long amount of time to tear out the trees just hopefully uh regular amount of time to uh to tear out the trees and then get them out to the exports area that is pretty much how all of my money's made and i know a few people have been like and this is mostly on discord but a few people have been like hey man you ever thought of you ever thought of you know not oh my god what happened what did you do oh too much fun that's fine uh wait that's not fine that's that's oh, <laughs> oh he's dead that's fine <laughs> oh, yeah. oh boy um yeah, uh, a few people have been like, hey, you ever think of, you know, Prison Architect, but uh, without, essentially, infinite money? And my answer to that is kind of all, always the same. Not really. This is, this is fun. Like, I like this process. I like this building, you know? I think it's really fun. I think it's just... You know, I still have to manage my income. Like, we're down to 55,000. We started with 120,000. I've spent 70 grand on all of this and everything else that I'm doing. So it's not like I'm just sitting with millions. It's not like City Skylines where I have 20 million dollars. So it you know, I I I do have to take time to uh to do things still. And also this all has power, which is beautiful, except for that bit because apparently that bit has to be different. Let's just get the power cable in there. And I will say I'm kind of most excited for 79 79 new campers in the morning. That is going to be... That's going to be hell. <laughs> it really is. That is going to be hell is what that's going to be. Because uh, I don't even know if our canteen can keep up with that. I have no idea if our canteen can keep up with that. And uh, I'm starting to think it might be an idea to, um, to expand the canteen a little bit. Or expand the cooking staff. Because... Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Let me see here. We have 15 cooks. Let's go up to um, up to 20 there, I guess, and see if that helps. Did we just... What do you mean we found, like, a tunnel there? Well, okay. Well, in that case, I think it's time for uh, a tunnel search. Let's go see if we can find some tunnels in and around the toilets just here. We better not. We better not find a tunnel over there, because if we find a tunnel over there, it's either the longest tunnel that we've ever seen, or it's just a false flag, which, it, honestly, it probably is, given that it's over there, but I'd, I'd be kind of, imp I wouldn't even be mad, I'd be kind of impressed, to be honest. It's one of those, hold on a minute, what is this? A st well, we find a strike placard? Placard, whatever. I don't, what? We find a mega... What do you mean they're preparing to go on strike? Like, look at this. Megaphone, CB radio, placard. Like, what do you mean they're going on? Money? Money bag, really? Okay. That's interesting. 
Oh, good. Five sniper rifles. Two assault rifles. That's great. That's that's just what you want to find. And this is only in the tunnel search, by the way. That's all this is. This isn't this isn't a regular search. We find five sniper rifles in the toilet. Or in the toilets, I should say. But either way, that's still kind of ridiculous. Uh, now that everybody's awake, though, let's go ahead and... Oh, my God, really? Why would you even... Why? Why would... Oh, my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's not a good morning for anybody, is it? Um, we have 79 new campers about to arrive. I was going to do a shakedown, but given the number of people about to turn up, I really don't think it's going to be a good idea. Because we are about to, um, yeah, we're about to get a lot of, uh, of, of new people. So there's one bus. There's a second bus. There's a third, a fourth. There's going to be a fifth. There's just going to be a lot of buses, really. And pretty much all of my, all of my staff are going to be busy here for quite a while, I imagine. Oh my god, hold on a minute, what? Oh, we still have 34 on the way. Are you kidding me? Still have 26 on the way? 18 on the way? Hold on a minute. I've just had a realization. We're gonna have so many of these guys go into solitary because they're gonna have things on them. Oh no. We're going to be back to that old problem of having way too many people for the solitary cells we have. There are 18 waiting. There's 47 in solitary, 48 in solitary, 21 in locked on. Oh my God. This is going to be, this is going to be something. What's up with you? No solitary cells are available. Really? Really? I wonder how that happened. I wonder how that could have happened. Where could I put some sol- Oh, I've just had a realization. I've just had a realization of what I can do for solitary cells. Hold on. Uh, go across here. Let me, um... <laughs> Let me try something here. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and- I sound like a dance coach. And three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. Bunch of solitary cells right across there is what that's going to be. And we're going to make it stick out a little bit. Just to make it a bit different. So uh, that's what that's going to be. We're going to have to take our paving stones across the back of this. And then inside there, I want to do... Oh, these are... I'm going to be cruel with these. We're doing gravel. We are doing gravel down there is what we're doing. Give me some solitary doors on all of this. And this is going to be like, this is going to be worst of the worst done here, I guess, is, uh, is what that's going to be. Oh my God. There we go. So get all those doors in there. Prioritize all of that work to get it done nice and quickly. Although I'm not sure all the walls are going in anymore because I did the flooring, didn't I? Uh, yep. Need to put all the, uh, all the sections of wall back in. That's great. So just redo all of that. All the one and two and three and four stuff. And this is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a good expansion is what this is going to be. Let's, uh, let's prioritize finishing it. There we go. So those guys shouldn't take too long to do all that. I'm not even going to give them lights. I'm not going to give them anything. Um, I'm not even going to bother. I will give them some nice wooden floor underneath the doors, though. So there we go. Let's get all of that done. And yeah, that's just going to be... That's just going to be solitary. That's just going to be the grimmest of the... The grimmest? The gr is that the word? The most... the gr Whatever. It's going to be awful, is what it's going to be. We have 20 people waiting. Um, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be pretty rough. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. To be honest, I'm I'm a little excited to see, you know, everyone getting carted down here. Is that awful? Is that bad of me? It's probably bad of me to be excited to put people in solitary confinement. But to be fair, they brought... Oh my god, you are all just waiting right now. To be fair, they brought things here that they shouldn't have brought here. So they kind of did it to themselves in, uh, in, in that particular 
regard. Uh, now, if someone could go ahead and finish that wall. There we go. And those walls are all done as well. So this is all done. So rooms, we're looking for solitary, which is there. And that, and we're up to 73 of them. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. So all of those guards are off to grab someone to bring them down here. And that will hopefully do beautiful things for us. That is... Ah, that's, that's grim. That is grim. That's like the... It's detention is what it is. It's it's like the ultimate detention. Except it's a... Gravel-lined cupboard at the, uh, the bottom of... Of everything. It's like as far away from everything as you can go. This is dark, man. I really regret this whole concept because everything I say sounds so much more evil than it's supposed to. Like, legitimately, just sounds awful. I feel terrible. Oh, man. I, I genuinely do. I genuinely feel bad. Anyway, let's move on from me feeling bad. Uh, so shops give your prisoners a place to spend their hard-earned money in order to satisfy their need for luxuries. Can also help with hygiene, food, and recreation. You'll receive money for each sale plus a commission each day for total goods sold. I want to build a shop. We need a shop front. That's going to be one thing we need. But I, I want to build a shop. I'm thinking this area up here might be pretty good for it. So what is a shop front? So this is a shop front. I'm guessing... Okay, I think I know how this works. Yeah, I think I know how this works. Okay. Um, let me try something here. I'm going to leave this, like, line of, uh, of stone here. But I want to do a concrete building. Something kind of like this. And that's going to be like a, like a storage area. Then I want to do a brick building. Kind of like this. And sort of like... Like that, I think. And that's going to be, you know, that's that's going to be our shop. I know it's a weird shape, but that's that's going to be our shop. And that's going to be fine. Um, I think we're going to do a jail door. No, we're going to do a large jail door right there. And then what we can do is go to flooring, um, stone, stone, and paving stone right up the middle. And that should be kind of nice. So we can do all that. Uh, we can bring the stone around the side as well. Just to, uh, you know, nicely line the building the way we've been doing for, for a while with all of our buildings. And then once this is done, we can go ahead and put in some, you know, additional walls to really make it come together. But I, I, I have an idea here that I think is going to be good. I really do. I think, I think I'm onto something. I might be. There's, there's definitely a chance. There is definitely a chance. Let me see here. Uh, so concrete wall like this. And then the shop front, so shop front, can it go like there or there? Can I do two of them? Like, is that a thing I can do? What is, what, why can I not place this? What does it have to, it has to be in a wall. Oh, it actually has to be in the wall. That's kind of cool. All right, that works for me. So build that and then go and put a, uh, let's go and put a, a door. Right about there. So we'll prioritize that as well. We can go ahead to utilities and get a door servo there and there, I guess. And then once those walls go in, we can go to shop front. And I want a shop front there and there. So right there, right there, prioritize those. And then how does this work? That's kind of my question. So how does a shop actually work? So shop needs to be 4x4, four four, indoor, table, shop shelf, and adjacent to shop front. So does this work? I guess so. I'm, I'm not... Wait, are the... Oh... Oh, are those backwards? Hold on. Do they rotate based? Yeah, they rotate based on where the shop is. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. So if I put the shop there, 
suddenly you go out here to pay for everything. Right. Oh, my idea is not going to work then. Okay. Uh, what we can do in that case then is go in and uh, demolish those walls and dismantle all of the objects in there. So let's prioritize that, please. Let me also go in and put some lights in because this area is actually really dark. So something a bit like uh, like that should do the job. We can also run some utilities in here, which are going to be... Oh, that's going to be tricky. That's going to be really tricky. This thing's so close to overloading. Like, so close to overloading. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, let me dismantle those two utilities. Let me run that through there. And please, please, please don't connect that before disconnecting everything. There we go. So that gets disconnected, which means this will no longer have power, correct? Yes. Then that bit's going to go there. This should have a little bit of power, which means I can run power into the uh, into the shop. So that should be pretty good. We may also need to run power to the, uh, the servos there. So we'll get that done. Then I guess what we can do is go in with some tiled walls. And we'll do tiled walls like like this and then we can put our our like shop fronts on that and that should be okay oh no really how did this happen what even happened he was just eating dinner can so yeah of course the, the food tray's dirty really i wonder why can someone please like Get the guy that's been buried. Oh, no. Not again. There's more gang violence. They're taking their shirts off again. Oh, God. Well, they've got their shirts on. They've been shirted is uh, is what that is. They've they They've been forced into a shirt. Let me see here. Where is my... So, this is my door control system. So, connect that to there, please. So that that's all going to uh, to have power. Which will be a beautiful thing. So that'll actually get opened pretty much automatically. Uh, this over here. Why is there not a bit of wall in there yet? That's a bit weird. Oh, well. We'll not worry too much about it. We'll put the shop front there. Shop front there. We'll go to rooms. We'll go to... Or sorry. We'll go to rooms. We'll go to uh, shop. And I guess the shop then goes here. Right? And then this whole space over here, I wanted it to be a shop, but I guess it's going to be like storage or something now. That was kind of my original idea was this was going to be a shop in here, but I, I just guess it can't be. Um, so we're just going to put the wall in like that. And then we could do a staff door and maybe a little staff door down there as well. And does that... So that works. So now we need tables and shop shelves. So shop shelves are huge for one which is uh that's fine we can do this sort of thing and we can do a table there i guess and that'll be our shop and i guess that'll be okay we can put in some nice flooring as well we'll do the uh we'll do the fancy tiles to make it actually feel like it's a uh, like it's a proper shop and then over here we'll do ceramic floor because i've got money to burn i guess uh there we go just do all of that so we'll prioritize all of that work and what I also want to do is go to rooms, go to storage. And uh, that's what this is going to be there, basically. Nothing too nothing too fancy, just a little storage area at the, uh, the bottom of everything. With some nice ceramic tiles and some lights in it. And then hopefully we can get people working in the shops, I guess. Or buying things from the shops or whatever. I mean, that is... What is that? Shop goods. So yeah, I'm assuming we can, we can get some people you know, working in the, uh, working in here. Hopefully that'll be nice for them. Hopefully that'll cheer all of our campers up a little bit. I've got no idea, but I guess we'll find out. And I suppose having these guys next door is going to be kind of helpful to restock it. I don't really know if I'm honest. I'm really not sure. But uh, either way, this is actually up and working now. So if we go to logistics, we can do six jobs in there. So during work hours, um, two guards for sure, and we'll do a uh, we'll do a, an armed uh, patrol, I think, 
sort of around everything just to be safe. That seems like uh, that seems like the way to go. <laughs> that, that might be a bit excessive. Definitely a chance that it's a bit excessive, but we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Let me take you off of that patrol. Let me take uh, you off of that patrol. And uh, are we we are still within work hours, right? I guess we just don't have enough. We do have ten armed uh, counselors, but I guess that's just not enough. That's uh, that's fine, I suppose. Either way, I'm excited to see this up and running. I've I've never built one of these in Prison Architect before. I've never really had a little shop, and I'm realizing the more I build this, the more it's slowly turning into like a little. It's not really a camp anymore, which again, I kind of want to steer, steer clear of that joke uh, at this point, but it is more of a, it is more of a, like a, like a neighborhood at this point. You've got like your terraced houses over here, your community center, your public crappers, but then you've got your little shop next to the chapel, next to the asylum, I guess, <laughs> next to the library. <laughs> you've got your public square, your like... I don't know, big re fancy restaurant. I don't know, your city hall, uh, whatever. You know, it, it, it is, it's, it's, whatever this is, it's definitely not a summer camp anymore. And that's probably for the best. Uh, now, something I do want to do here, actually, I've just noticed is I want to go in and I want to say, I want a staff door there and I want a staff door there. Because I want to make this little alleyway into a, uh, a staff only area. And a couple of doors there might let me do that. Yeah. So, oh, no, no, no. Uh, so, staff only. That way we're not going to have anyone else go through that little alleyway there. And that's probably going to be for the best. Uh, it is a bit weird having those doors there, but it just... I feel like it's a good call to not let uh, prison, like, prisoners go through there. So, that's kind of my thinking there, uh, for sure. Hopefully that works out. And, uh... I'm also kind of hoping that everybody is... Oh, they're all funneling into two cells again. Oh, dear. That's never good. That is that is never a good thing. Can we get a quick uh, guard response to this area, please? Quick guard response in there just to check everything's all right. Quick guard response down here to check everything's all right. And uh, they're dispersing, so that's probably fine. Uh, let's just get a quick guard response in here to make sure everything's all right which it is and then in here as well to make sure everything is all right which it certainly seems to be okay well that's good they're all relatively happy oh this guy's had too much fun i think he also just wet himself which is less than good why are you taking him so far away oh he's fine well that's good i'm not really sure why he was taken to that infirmary and not this one which is a lot closer but I mean, fair enough. I guess this is more like a hospital, right? Technically, it's it's kind of like a hospital. I mean, it's not really, but it's it's kind of like a hospital. Uh, let me see here as well, because I'm curious about something. I can have up to um, I can have up to five foremen. I'm not sure if I need five of them, but I do have offices around. Although I could just put you in there. Two psychologists kind of seems like a good shot. Then up here we have all of our foremen and all that stuff. So I guess we just kind of have... Have we filled all of the offices? We actually have. Okay. I guess the psychologists are like chief doctors or something like that, right? Oh, not again, really? Oh my god, what? Hold up. Free fire. Shoot him. That's what you get. That is what you get. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is um Well, that's what happens. That is that is what happens. Let's uh get back up to a hundred there. Oof. <laughs> that's rough, man. Every time. Though the free fire button. I kinda I'm kinda curious. Is there is there a hotkey for that if we go to uh, game. Is there no way to change the controls? I might be wrong. Display, single floor, or floor signage display, autosave timer, room checker box. 
I guess there's not. I might be wrong here. Is there, I guess, extras? Is it in here? No? Huh. Okay. I might just be an idiot that can't see it, but I thought, I was really hoping there'd be like a hotkey to enable free fire. You know what I mean? Like press, I don't know, F, and it's like, boom, free fire. Go to town. Do your thing. But there isn't, which is kind of sad. It'd be really nice if there was. That, I feel like that could be really, really useful, to be honest. Anyway, let's go ahead and dismantle a bunch more trees here because those are starting to encroach on uh, on the camp, the, the camp, the prison, the whatever it is. Whatever it is at this point. We're going to just dismantle a bunch of them. And uh, that'll hopefully get us a bunch of money as well because that's something... I don't want to say we're dwindling. Like $46,000 ain't bad. That's nothing to sniff at. But uh, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if we had a bit more than that. So let's just try and clear as much of this out as we possibly can. I was going to go in circles like this, and that should be fine. That's going to be most of the trees gone, actually. But hopefully we can do that, and then sell them, and have an absolute shed load of... Uh, you thought I was going to say something else there. An absolute shed load of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of money. I'm also really curious to see uh, what it's like when the shop is up and working. That's something I'm, I'm really... I don't know if excited is the word, but I'm curious about. I I just like seeing them all working. That's that's one thing I'm really enjoying is getting everybody out to work. I'm also wondering, ooh, we have three people qualified for this. Ooh, no way. That's awesome. Okay, I'm actually really happy about that. I'm not going to lie. Um oh, I'm so pleased. We're actually going to have people working there. That's great. I'll tell you what we need to do then. Programs uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Kitchen safety, okay. Carpentry apprenticeship is one. Um, kitchen safety and hygiene is another. So, I don't know which kitchen we're looking at here. Hold on, I need to find the right kitchen. Um, that one. So that, no, that's guard taser. So kitchen, kitchen safety and hygiene. If you heard something fall over there, that was, that was creepy. Um, I, it is currently 4.33 a.m. when I'm, recording this and something just fell over on the other side of my room without it being touched on the other side of the office I should say so that's great I'm uh, probably gonna wake up dead tomorrow uh what else are we doing then so the carpentry apprenticeship where is it it's here so it's gonna be in the workshop I'll tell you what I want to do I'm gonna do the carpentry apprenticeship at like the end of the day and I think we're also gonna do yeah so that'll that'll work right there I think that'll be a good That'll be a pretty good setup. I'm, I'm liking that. So we're going to be able to get people working in the workshops. We're going to get people learning to work in the kitchens. We're going to be just generally putting them to work. We're going to have carpentry apprenticeships as, as an option. We're going to have people going to the classrooms. Like, we're potentially setting ourselves up to actually make some decent money here. And I'm really excited about that. Obviously, the exports are going to help a lot. That's for sure, but I just mean in all of this as well, like all of the the workshops and the just the general working. I just I love it. I really do. I really, really do. Um, although I'm noticing that I wonder. Hold on, I want to see if people actually do work in these because I'm noticing. I noticed all of the 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 baskets were perfectly were perfectly lined up, and I don't know if the prisoners do that themselves. Oh my god, what? Hello? Hello? How did this happen? Oh, he was a snitch. Okay, well, that'll do it. That will definitely do it. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. It's shakedown time. Let's go. What do you mean we find three shotguns right away? How does that happen? Oh my god, we just... We have the, I mean, I know I have the modifiers on that make this kind of thing happen, but I feel like we have the worst luck. I, re I really, really do feel like we have the worst luck when it comes to um, just everything. Honestly, just absolutely everything. We just have terrible, terrible luck. <laughs> That's just me. That's just this prison. That's just the way it be.